we have subtraction of decimal numbers. Now we do this, we use the same rule like we use for whole numbers. When we have written our decimal numbers in vertical columns and decimal point is in the same column, we start from the last column and we are going to the left side. And before we will do this, in my opinion, it's always it will be easier if we first check if in the, on the top we have greater number than on the bottom. 4 is less than 8, so we have to do borrowing. From 3 we borrow 1, so it will be 2, and now we have here 14. 2 is less than 5, so we have to do borrowing one more time. So now we will have 9 minus 1 will be 8 and we will have now 12 and 5 is greater than 3 so everything's okay now we can do subtraction 14 minus 8 is 6 12 minus 5 is 7 8 minus 6 is 2 we copy the decimal point in the same column and 5 minus 3 is 2. We got 2.276. And now we can check. 2.276 and we had to add 3.658. have to keep the decimal point in the same column. And we start from the last column when we add or subtract 6 plus 8 is 14 so we have 4 and we take 1 to next column 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 5 is 13 so we have 3 and we take 1 to next column 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 6 is 9 we copy the decimal point 2 plus 3 is 5 we got the same number which we have at the beginning so everything is okay this is my solution